Hello beautiful souls, this is Ona. Thanks for joining me for this August 2022 energy update and spirit animal reading. <laughs> and I had intended to go do a piece of artwork and do an art channeling. Um, but when I sat, I sat down in this pond to start to tune in to the energies of August 2022 and wait till you see what happened next. <laughs> it actually had me so surprised that I forgot what month it was. So wherever I'm saying July, it's really, I meant August. So I was just sitting here uh, painting and I felt something just gently tap my toe. And there I looked down, there's this huge snapping turtle. <laughs> and uh, I was lucky he didn't snap it off. And there he is. I don't know if you can see him. He's just hanging around. Let's see if I can get a better view of him. There, you can see the shell. Here he comes. Wow, big boy or girl. Whatever he is. Back off of this one. Here he comes again. I wonder if I was sitting right where he likes to come up and sun himself. That could be what it was. There he is. And he knows I'm here. He's looking. He's not too scared, though. So I was sitting and <laughs> I was just painting what came into my head and tuning into the energies of July 2022. Here he is. Yes, hey buddy, I guess you're the totem for July. There he goes. He's still just hanging around. I think he's just waiting his turn to get up here on this rock. Isn't he beautiful? He's covered with algae and stuff, but you can still see the plates on the back of his shell. He's just floating. Getting a breath. And down into the depths. There's the sun. Uh, so here's where I was sitting where this happened. It's a little quarry pond across the road from where I live. And I uh, had all my stuff set out. Uh, here's the painting I'm working on. And um, I'm not even sure why this came into my head, but I was tuning into the energies of July 2022. And I got this image of kind of a slightly stormy sea and a, a sun. There was a lot of pink. I'm probably going to put more pink in it. Um, pinks and blues and just sort of this gray tower thing in the background. But that's what I was working on when the turtle came to visit. And there he is again. I'm going to see if he comes up. He's looking from beneath the water. All right, so maybe this is an invitation to see what Snapping Turtle has to tell us for the energies of July 2022. Hello, buddy. You going to give us a message? Hi. The Snapping Turtle really is the king of the water here, right? The Snapping Turtle, I don't think anything really preys on them aside from humans once they get big like this. So this is really interesting because like we're in the sign of Leo and we've got the lion's gate going on. There's a lot about king energy and here's the king of the pond <laughs> paying us a visit right here. And again, I am so grateful that he didn't snap my toe off. He just kind of bumped me um, because he could have. But that's, you know, the power of the king. He's got this presence, right? And he could have really, I mean, you know, he, he, just his presence is enough to make me change my behavior, right? And, and get up and stand up and pay attention and be aware. But let's think into, because there's different kinds of kings around here. The king of the forest would probably be a wolf. 
king of the air is quite clearly eagle. Um, and, you know, this guy being a king of the water. But what message does he have? It feels to me like he's just chilling. He's secure in himself because he knows he's protected and he knows he can defend himself, right? Because even with that shell, if he didn't have that ability to really, like he could have taken off my toe, I, I, like I wouldn't have paid quite as much attention to him, right? So it's, you know, that ability to defend oneself is is part of the divine masculine. And it's a part that I think gets, gets a big rap because it's it's the power and, you know, the, the destructive ability, right? The warrior, masculine warrior. And it's often, you know, it's often called this the quote unquote toxic masculine and it can it can be very toxic right um but sometimes you know we have to realize that in this world there are things that you know that that we need that protection um and in its place when it's respectful like this guy is um it's it's a super important without that you just get eaten up and so i think to a certain extent the masculine in our culture has really been denigrated like um it's it's not honored it's not celebrated it's kind of um jumped on as being toxic but there's a reason for it and and with lions too right that we're in this lion time of year um you know that that male lion has that that force that destructive force that is protective when it's channeled correctly and you know what happens if it's not channeled correctly either it's channeled in a way that that is you know not protective of life um, or it just dies and, and disappears. It gets emasculated. And that, too, is not protective of life. Because when you lose your, you know, your virile masculine side, and I'm talking to men and women, too, you tend to kind of roll over and play dead. Or you don't have that capacity to really stand in your power the way that sometimes we need to, right? And remember too, look at this guy. Again, he didn't have to. He did not have to bite my toe off in order to get me to stand up and give him space. He did not have to bite my toe off in order to stand up and give him space, but he's got the capacity, right? he could and so I, I guess the the encouragement is to be aware of the masculine side within yourself within those around you and to start really perceiving the value in it perceiving the value of the masculine warrior um, and, and maybe start standing up for that, right? We, I, I, I hear amongst women a lot, all these little denigrating comments about men and how incapable they are and so forth. Well, their brains work in different ways, right? A, a, a male brain and the masculine side of our own brain, right? Because that shows up too, is wired to, whoa, look at him, he's opening his mouth, Wow. The masculine brain is required, wired to respond to crisis. And when there's not a crisis, then it's wired to just kind of sit back and relax. Um, because, you know, there's nothing to worry about. He, does, he just he needs to be in his presence, that's all. And so it's really easy to... You know, first of all, be afraid of the masculine. You've got to make sure what side you're on of, of him, right? And if if you're afraid of the masculine, what's going on that you're on his bad side? Is he really a toxic male? 
or is there something going on that he's going to react to because it's really not aligned, right? Um, and, and so it's sort of an invitation to watch and see, hey, you know, what's showing up? Anything that that masculine's going to react to, you know, is, is, is there maybe something to it? Boy, is he beautiful, isn't he? Beautiful baby turtle. All right, thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I think I'm going to just give thanks to him and then quietly pack up and go my way because it looks like he wants to get out and rest. And I can finish what I'm doing somewhere else because it really is his rock, right?